The Painted Pony by Lisa Floyd of Floyd's Artworks. The objective from Unbridled Change, providing equine-assisted therapy in Southwest Virginia, was this. Your gift demonstrates your appreciation for the important role equine-assisted therapy plays in the lives of our clients. We're looking for creativity. Let your imagination run free. So, top to bottom, left to right. The main look of the piece is designed to make the face and mane realistic, normal, as we often attempt to do, while the core's transparency subtly reveals the multi-faceted internal makeup of the horse, not unlike humans, to show how common and powerful can easily be the emotional connection between the two. The hair in its eyes is typical of those who do not want to face the world for a variety of reasons, but hide where it feels safer, where they are less noticed. This has always unsettled me to see in people, the head down, the upwards look from behind straggly hair wisps, feeling they lack what it takes to face their world with the confidence and courage that comes naturally when emotionally healthy. The eyes were painted to show any number of emotions. They can appear sad, pensive, cautious, far away, hurt. It was with great effort they were not assigned any particular emotion so as to let the viewer establish that emotional connection. The eyes are the window into the soul, making them the most important and the focal point of this piece. The dark discoloration on its right cheek and eye area was painted as a shadow, but also represents the bruises that are sometimes obvious, sometimes go unnoticed, and are usually attempted to be concealed with hair, shine away that side of the face, etc. The mouth on our right is attempting to smile, but the eyes sabotage the effort. There is no effort or even attempt to smile shown on the left side. Gold in the top part of the mane is a reminder of better days of sunshine that once glowed but are now a flicker under rough, dark, weather and life-beaten locks. Red in the mane below it shows how we attempt to cover up old wounds, yet they are still visible to those who are able to see them. Sometimes we think people put up walls to keep people out when they actually just want to see who cares enough to break them down. The teardrops trickled down into a blue pool, which, when viewed from above, is hidden to the casual observer beneath the rim, and it flows over to flood and discolor the heart. The throat is darkly colored to remind us that there is a great depth of feeling straight down into his heart and all that is deep inside and wanting to be shared. However, the bands carelessly strewn across it represents the stifling effect that comes with the variety of forms in which lack of acceptance is felt. The cross above the heart shows how our Maker created in us a God-sized hole that no one but He can fill. This horse is empty, yet ready to receive. The shape started out as a standard form, but ended up a little rough. Thank God he meets us where and how we are, not according to some rigid religious standard. The heart is exposed and subtle, yet clearly visible once you see it, and, of course, it had to be depicted as broken. Just like we must remember to be nice to everyone you meet, we're all facing some kind of battle. Only the bearer truly knows the depth of their burdens and heartache. You can close your eyes to the things you do not want to see, but you cannot close your heart to the things you do not want to feel. The handprint, like a human footprint, shows evidence that someone has been there. This one is faint, as though it was in the past, but still remains a part of it today. It is my actual handprint in my hand coloring, which is unique to us all. This was to show my contribution to and influence in this horse's makeup, just as each of us is a product of those who have touched our lives. The hand is positioned in a relaxed curve to imply a tender touch and placed on the breast as though to calm, comfort, and steady 
and is touching the heart to show that the horse allowed the person to get close enough in. Yes, the yellow drip was an accident. It's interesting to see folks' reaction to it. Ooh, with a pained or surprised look. Did you see that? And did you mean to leave that? Well, yes, I did. The natural reaction when it dripped was to remove it. Then I realized that since life is full of accidents, so much of our time is spent trying to fix and help and remove their marks. Sometimes we can, and other times, like when the paint is dried before noticing, the accident is re irreparable. Sometimes the mistake is ours, sometimes others, sometimes they are intentional, sometimes accidental. Nevertheless, they are all a part of who we are, trying to get along in this imperfect world. Ironically, my daughter instinctively tried to fix it before I could explain, then tried to fix it back once I had explained, confirming the reason it was left on there. The faint squiggle to its right is a reminder that we all have those little fiery drives and emotions and dreams and uniqueness inside of us, waiting to be unharnessed in so many ways. The hope brand represents how we are so often branded, whether intentional or not, perceived or not, still felt with concepts like hopeless or loser, inability to, to achieve or contribute, loveless, unlovely, unloving or unlovable, ugly, stupid, and a myriad of others. Some brands stick and affect our lives. Some folks overcome them, but bear the scar all the same. This brand was made to look old, like it's been through a lot, and like it hurt. It implies no hope, but truly without hope we cannot live one day. So to still be alive says there is still hope, and that hope is worth living for. The mane has been left in its natural state without much attention given to it, as is so typical in those with little self-worth. Final Remarks It was my hope that the initial reaction would be a good feeling to see the beauty in the horse that we are so accustomed to, until a closer look revealed those things like a broken heart that make one a little uncomfortable. Then comes the unconditional love and acceptance, for truly that is what we all need, to show it and to be shown it. Mercy has been described as your hurt in my heart, and it is said that blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Grace is when we receive good things that we do not d deserve, and mercy is when we do not receive the bad things that we do deserve. I am so thankful that even though I've had my share of being emotionally unhealthy and needy, God, in His mercy and grace, through Jesus Christ, who died for my sins, used people to reach out to me, at times in spite of me. And He saved me from the life and destination that the devil, the world, and the flesh had for me. I'm also so thankful for organizations like Unbridled Change that do just that, reach out a helping hand to a hurting world. All through this therapeutic project, I prayed as I painted this pony to represent their incredible life-changing labors of love, making a difference one human and one horse at a time. May our great God bless you richly. Lisa Floyd